Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Trailhead Ranger NJ and in our series of doing the related to Agent Force trails we are doing this one that is Quick Start Agent Force and I'll be launching this unit that is connect your flows to Agent Force so if you have not already created your Einstein AI playground please do create it you might be seeing instructions over here I have already created it so I'll just launch this and uh, my playground will be open in the next unit and uh, to complete this module I'll just have to cover everything which is present in this I have already created and followed these steps so I don't need to do this I'll just uh, go to the uh, our playground and then uh, search for orders after choosing orders let me do this uh, side by side close this and then I'll search for orders and uh, click on all orders after clicking on all orders in the upper right corner we can see the setup and in quick find box we need to check Einstein setup if the Einstein is turned on so I have already turned it on but let me just go to the setup and uh, check it again I'll just type Einstein and it is turned on so uh, now I, we need to refresh our browser it is already refreshed and I uh, will just search for agent here and click on agents and then we need to enable this feature that is Einstein co-pilot for Salesforce I will turn it on then if you go back you can see click Einstein co-pilot found at the bottom of the page and click open in builder so let's scroll down uh, we might uh, have to refresh it i'll just refresh this page once <coughs> and then i can see the einstein copilot i'll click on it then click on open in builder After clicking on open in builder, if the right hand pane has a welcome message, click got it and then click dismiss. So uh, we'll click on dismiss here and uh, that's it. So agent builder where we can test our features and in the conversation preview, we need to type tell me about the account edge communications. So here and then click on send. It is analyzing our request and working on it. Let's see what response it will give to us. So these are the instruction it has given to us. Uh, let's see now. Uh, if you get a message then agent force is having trouble then click the refresh icon. So we did not get the trouble message and uh, it's asked us to pick record so that's also did not happen uh, let me see no it has already pick, uh, picked up the record in the conversation preview we need to type now do they have any active orders so i'll just type in here and it will take some time meanwhile we will just analyze what next uh, need to be done so we need to create a custom action then so let's just wait for the response so yes these are the active orders and it has given us those details so, so all right we can go to the agent builder and select on the agent action then just go back okay agent actions click on new agent action then in the reference action type we need to choose flow and in the reference action we need to choose initiate return flow initiate return 
एजेंट एक्शन लेबल सॉरी एजेंट एक्शन इंस्ट्रक्शन शुड बी दिस सो विल जस्ट कॉपी इट एंड दिस इज द सेम विल क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट एंड इन द एजेंट एक्शन इंस्ट्रक्शन विल गिव दिस देन फॉर इंस्ट्रक्शन अंडर इनपुट वी नीड टू पेज दिस दैट इज पॉपुलेट दिस इन यूज इन सॉरी करेक्ट हैज नॉट बीन कॉपी डाइजेस्ट अगेन कॉपी दिस populate this input variable with an order record id uh, then in the require input we need to check this check box so what does it mean that it will take the order record id and this is the required field for that and uh, we need to check the collect data from user as well the user can import uh, this record id and for instructions under output we need to paste this that is this uh output indicates the status of the return request whether it has been initiated processed or completed so this is that and uh, we need to just click uh, show in conversation and uh, then click finish so now we can go back to the agent builder to add the new action to our agent so we need to again click on agents then click on einstein copilot open in builder then from topics we need to click on this migration default topic and click this topics action then here we need to click on a new and add from asset library we need to select r1 that is the initiate return and click on finish and then we need to activate this after activating it uh, we need to go to the setup tab to return to the sales app and then click the einstein button to open the conversation window so uh, what we'll do we'll just go to go back click on okay and then search for sales app and you can see the einstein icon is here we'll just open this and let's see what text they have uh, given to us that is what is the order with the most recent order start date so we'll just paste it and wait for its response order number uh, will come and we need, we should select this order number let's wait for the response what it will give to us so it is giving us this okay we have opened this order now in the conversation window type tell me about order 101 then uh, again we need to start a return for order 101 so it will start its return as well okay <clears throat> so the return process has begun uh, how we can check we can click on the details tab and if we scroll down to the bottom of the page we'll find the return status field has been updated to initiated okay so let's go to the details tab and return status has been filled with initiated so that's it done okay let's verify this so we are done with this module quick start agent force in this we have learned that how we can connect our already existing flow to the agent force the flow was uh, initiate return which we had used in this unit so i hope you understand it if you like it please like the video subscribe the channel and let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt or you want me to make a video on any other topic related to sales force thank you stay tuned Thank you.